Hi, I'm Christian Triola, author of The Missing Method for Guitar Books. And in this video, we're going to talk about the seven reasons why guitar players should learn to read music. First, you'll be musically literate. Traditional literacy is described as being able to read, write, speak, and listen. So it's not just being able to read, there's more to literacy than that. And so musical literacy is in many ways the same kind of thing. First, being able to listen means you're able to understand what you hear. So when you listen to a song, of course you don't want to analyze every song that you listen to. You want to enjoy the music as well. But as a musician, as a guitar player, you want to be able to listen so that you understand. And being able to read music helps you conceptualize that on paper so you do get a stronger understanding of what's going on. Next, you'll also be able to write down what you hear. Many jazz players, in fact, pretty much every jazz player, listens to music and then writes it down. And they do that so they can learn from other people's solos, get ideas themselves, etc. The next thing is you'll be able to clearly communicate with other musicians. So not only on paper, but by being able to read it, by being able to write it, you'll also be able to communicate your ideas better to other musicians, even over long distances. You send them the sheet music, they're able to play what you intended them to play. And then finally, of course, we have the ability to read. Now, reading means more than just reading standard notation. And a lot of people focus on that when talking about note reading, because that's what note reading is, essentially. But when it comes to playing guitar, we have more than just standard notation. You'll also want to be able to read tablatures. You'll want to be able to read chord charts. You'll want to be able to read lead sheets. You'll also want to be able to look at the music written for other instruments and be able to read them. So let's say you're given something that's written for piano. You can look at it, read it, understand it, and come up with something of your own on the guitar that will match up what you see on paper. So it makes you a more versatile guitar player by being able to read music. And then overall, that helps to complete your musical literacy. Now don't get me wrong, having a great ear is vital. If you don't have a good ear in music, it's just not going to happen for you, basically. You can develop a good ear if you don't have one, which is a great thing. It allows you to enter that musical world. But besides having a great ear, being able to read is really high on the list. And that musical literacy aspect is still the number one reason, I think. So overall, literacy itself isn't just producing effective communication. It's all about creating a stronger depth of understanding by having a larger base of information from which to draw from. So number two on the list is that you will gain confidence as a musician by being able to read music. You know, I've met a lot of guys over the years, they're good players, they sound great, but then if you put sheet music in front of them or talk about, you know, I'll send you a tab or send you something like that, they shut down. They're like, oh man, I gotta read this, I gotta figure it out that way. They don't want to because they've learned some other way, usually by playing by ear, which is a great way, but it can have its limits. So being able to read the music does help your confidence grow. You feel like you can take on any musical challenge with the guitar. Number three on the list is that you'll be able to better conceptualize what it is you're hearing. So when you hear something uh, in a song and you're not sure what it is, if you can write it down, then you'll have a stronger understanding of what's going on in the music and you'll be able to come up with your own ideas based on that original idea. So it helps strengthen those concepts. Number four on the list goes along with number three. In this case, we're talking about music theory. By being able to read guitar music, you are already started learning music theory. It's right there, it's built in. So if you're kind of afraid of theory or don't understand theory, it's related to reading music. So that might be why it trips you up a little bit. Once you can read the music, music theory makes a lot more sense and you'll be able to write things down easier, understand it, and it just makes things a lot easier overall. So number five on our list, by being able to read music, it allows you to learn just about any kind of music that you want to learn. You don't have to rely on tutorial videos. You don't have to rely on somebody else helping you figure out a song. You can do it on your own by being able to read whether that's notation, tablature, whatever. 
Reading will help you out in that case. All right, number six on the list, it cements your rhythmic skills. As a guitar player, I mean, most of what we do is we're the background, you know, we're part of that rhythm section. We've got to make sure our rhythm is right on the beat, that we know the different styles in case something's called out that uh, you need to be able to do. And so a great way of being able to understand rhythms is by being able to read them because then you'll understand how it all works. It makes learning new rhythms a lot easier by being able to write it down on paper and seeing what it is you're playing physically. You'll also gain a stronger understanding of how beat and rhythm works and how that interplay works together. By seeing it on paper, it gives you a different perspective on it. So it adds another level of understanding that you may not have gotten before. And then finally, number seven, it gives you the skills you'll need to learn any instrument you want. Now, a lot of guitar players will just stick to guitar and with good reason. It's because there's so many different things you can learn on just the guitar. We have six strings, 22 to 24 frets. That's tons of notes, tons of combinations, harmonies, all sorts of things. So you don't need to learn other instruments if you don't want to. However, the guitar is simply one instrument. And as a musician, you're gonna to wanna to explore other instruments. You might wanna try out bass, and a lot of guitar players do that. Of course, you'll get a lot more gigs as a bass player. Uh, so you have bass, you have drums, you have all the woodwind instruments, all the brass instruments, all the traditional strings. And once you learn how to read music on guitar, it translates to any of those instruments. It will make it easier to learn other instruments to where the only difficulties you'll come across are the physical techniques involved in learning those other instruments. But the music itself, you'll have no trouble figuring out. So those are the seven reasons that I've come up with as to why learning how to read music for guitar players is important. So I'm gonna leave you with a little story. When I was 15 years old, I was taught by an Italian American guy how to play guitar. And since I didn't know any better, he just had me start off by reading music. And I'm really glad that he did. I learned a lot of stuff just by being able to do that. I was able to teach myself guitar a lot better and a lot faster because of it. But not only that, over time something happened that I didn't expect to have happened. And that is, I'm able to look at a musical score and hear it in my head. Now, with some more complicated ones, obviously, it's much harder to do that. But by learning how to read, by learning how to transcribe or listen to songs and figure them out, I can now look at a sheet of music and hear what it's supposed to sound like even before I play it. And that's not something that I expected to do. It's not something I tried to do. It's just something that kind of happened over time by developing this skill. And again, it makes learning new songs a lot easier to do. Ultimately, being able to read music helps you to connect what you hear with what you're playing with what's on paper. So that way you have a stronger idea of what's going on. It helps you to learn faster, helps you to communicate better with others. Uh, the only drawback, if there is one, is that it takes a little while to get used to. In many ways, it's like learning a foreign language. You're learning a whole new alphabet where you have little lines and spaces and things like that. And not only that, but unlike language, you're also getting a rhythmic aspect to it. So you have to learn that as well and blend all that together to create music. So even though it does take time to learn all this, it's definitely worth your time, and I highly recommend that you learn how to read music on the guitar. So I'd love to hear your opinions on this, so please leave them in the comments. So definitely give it a shot. For some people, they love it, they enjoy reading music. For other people, it's a drag. So either way, Stick with it until it starts making a lot of sense for you and you'll definitely be glad you did.